Download the ELD Mandate HOS app from the App Store and open it. When prompted, click Allow to enable notifications. Enter your login credentials to access the application. After logging in, you will see the user guide, read and acknowledge it, then click continue. Select your respective power unit and click move to trailer selection. Choose your trailer and click done. Next, you will need to enable Bluetooth permissions to detect the ELD device. Click allow when prompted. To select your ELD device, click the search devices button. Select the ELD type, either PT30 or iOS IX, and choose the ELD device connected to your power unit from the ECM link devices page. Once your ELD is successfully connected, the page will display the VIN number acquired from the ELD hardware and the power unit VIN number. If the VIN numbers do not match, a message will prompt you to check and proceed further. Click Move to Dashboard to proceed. In the dashboard, you will see the status of the ELD connection, indicating whether it is connected or disconnected. How to connect to the ELD device from the dashboard. You can also connect to the ELD device directly from the dashboard by clicking on the Connect button. From here, follow the same steps to connect your ELD device. Click Search Devices and you will be prompted to select your respective ELD type. Select the ELD device connected to your power unit and the connection status will be displayed on the device selected page. If the ELD acquired VIN is invalid, you can reselect your ELD or power unit or you can choose to proceed to the dashboard. If you choose to proceed, the app will use the power unit VIN number as the valid one. With this, you are successfully connected to your ELD and ready to start your day. How to turn on Bluetooth to make a successful ELD connection. Click search devices. If Bluetooth is turned off, the app will prompt you to enable it from the settings. Click on settings, turn on Bluetooth, and select allow new connections. Return to the app and click Search Devices again. You will then proceed with the usual steps to connect your ELD device. Select your respective ELD type and choose your ELD from the list. On the ECM Linked Devices page, you will notice two sections, Previously Connected Devices and Available Devices. This helps you recognize previously connected devices and proceed with minimal effort. After a successful connection, the app will move to the device selection page, where it will display whether the ELD acquired VIN and the power unit VIN match. If they do not match, the app will display a message indicating the ELD acquired VIN is invalid. At this point, you can either reselect the ELD and power unit or proceed to the dashboard using the power unit VIN if you are confident it is correct. With this, you are successfully connected to the ELD and ready to start your day. How to enable Bluetooth permission if it was denied. On the ECM Link Devices page, click Search Devices. If Bluetooth permission was previously denied, the app will prompt you to open the settings and enable Bluetooth permission. Go to the settings, enable the Bluetooth permission for the app and then return to the app, repeat the steps to connect to the ELD device by clicking Search Devices and follow the connection process. With this, you are successfully connected to the ELD and ready to start your day.